Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Gretchen, this is Beautiful Mess, and this video is a tag video. So this one is called the Mom Tag, and I thought, I was just thinking that with Mother's Day just coming up, it would be a really good idea to just do a tag about myself as a mom. And I've seen a few people do it and I really like it. I saw Lainey Bass just did it and she did it the same. She kind of did with Mother's Day approaching. She wanted to go through it. So I'm, I am, I haven't really looked at all of the questions yet. So we are going to find out what they ask all together. Question number one, how old were you when you became a mom? I was 25. My husband and I waited a few years to have kids, so 25 when I first became a mom. Number two, do you plan on having more children or are you content? I'm content. We always joke around about this because everybody wants to know when we're going to have our next child and my husband and I are content with the two that we have. We try not to joke about it too much because people always tell us, well, you never know what God has in store and they are completely right. But my husband and I are content with our two beautiful kids. We got the boy and the girl, so I am content. Number three, what was the hardest thing about your pregnancy? Ugh. So for both of my pregnancies, I was so sick and with my daughter it was just absolutely horrible I threw up all the time I couldn't keep anything down and I thought once I got past the first trimester that I was gonna be okay and then we got into the second and then into the third and even when I was in labor I was still throwing up so it was it was just not good. So that was the hardest thing about my pregnancy with my son. Everybody told me, it's a boy, so you're not going to be as sick once we found out what it was. And I was sick in the beginning. I had a little break and then I was sick again and sick again and sick again. So I just I'm not good at being pregnant. I just, I am sick the whole time and I, I just stink at it. So I could not say that I had, oh, such a wonderful pregnancy and it was so beautiful. And well, yes, it was beautiful, but the being sick part, I was so over it. Number four, did you experience body changes after your pregnancy? I actually, I feel like I did. I feel like my back got wider and just my upper body just got wider in the back. I don't know, it's really weird. I know they say that so many things can change. I feel like my hair changed a lot. My hair, I used to have like vol voluminous hair and all I had to do was blow dry it and not do anything to it and it was beautiful. And then after my first pregnancy, my hair changed completely. Number five says, are you a working mom or a stay at home mom? And would you have it any other way? So I am a working mom with my daughter. I actually, I stayed home until she was almost two. But that was kind of, I, it was kind of forced just because I got fired from my job right as I had her. But I always say it was a God thing because it just, I didn't know if I was gonna go back to work or what happened, and then I got fired, so <laughs> it worked out well because I stayed with her for two years at home, and I did, I loved being the stay-at-home mom for a long time. If I had the chance to do it again, and God gave me the opportunity to, then yes, I think I would like doing the stay-at-home mom thing, so I would, I can't say that I would love just always being a working mom. I do like getting out and, you know, being around other people. But sometimes I'm like, I just want to stay home with my kids. So, so yes. And in the summer, I am stay-at-home mom because I work at a school. So we have the summers off. 
and I look forward to the summers and I just look forward to being a stay-at-home mom during the summers so I kind of have a little bit of the best of both worlds I, I have my full-time job and then in the summers I get to be stay-at-home mom so if I ever had the opportunity to just be a stay-at-home mom I think I would enjoy it number six what's a must-have baby item oh boy I would say a baby carrier just because with my daughter I did not have one and I said no I don't need to have one I don't need to wear my baby no that's not me I'm not gonna be that kind of mom and I regretted not having a baby carrier with my daughter so with my son I made sure that I had a baby carrier number seven what What's a baby item that you regret buying? It's a baby item. <laughs> the crib. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you know me, then you know my kids are terrible sleepers. And we joke around that the crib was an expensive decor item. <laughs> so, in my opinion... Yes, that's a baby item I regret buying because it was expensive and my kids never used it ever, ever, ever. <laughs> okay, number eight, what's your child's favorite food? My daughter's favorite food is tacos. Any day of the week, any time of the day, you give that girl a taco and she will be happy. My son's favorite food right now, he's like in a picky two-year-old state. So his favorite food is like snacks right now. He does not have a particular favorite food. One day he likes something, the next day he's throwing at you because he's throwing it at you because he hates it and he doesn't want it and how dare you give it to him. So <laughs> he's a little bit in a complicated phase right now. But give him a snack and give him something sweet and he's there all day long, he's fine. But my daughter, definitely, tacos is her go-to. And broccoli, she loves broccoli. Five years old, she loves broccoli, I'm not gonna fight it. We don't have to put anything on it and she just loves it. But tacos is definitely number one. <laughs> number nine, what's your child's favorite TV show? They love this show on Netflix called True. And they both love that show and they love they will watch it together. That's like the one thing that they can watch together. But so my daughter's is really true and my son will watch it with her. My son is obsessed with Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. He if it has a dinosaur in it, he wants to watch it. So that's what he's obsessed with right now. That's his favorite. He doesn't really have a favorite show, it's his favorite movie. Number 10, where do you shop for your child? Mostly for the kids, I will shop at Target or Children's Place, um, Walmart. I will shop at Macy's a lot for some of the outfits that I can find them. But yeah, that's really, those are really like the main places that I shop. Number 11, how do you unwind? For me, it is, and I haven't done this in a while, it is a bath, just an all-out pamper at home experience, and it's a bath with a really nice bath bomb, Epsom salts, you know, a little facial mask and everything, and just have some time where I can unwind and relax. If it's not that, then I don't really watch TV anymore. I don't really have time to watch TV anymore. If I sit down, I will probably fall asleep. Number 12. What has being a mom taught you? So being a mom has taught me just how much I could love my two little ones. I never realized, you never realized before your mom how like the the things that you would do for your kids you don't even think twice about being a mom has always has also taught me how to be strong for my kids 
and just it has pushed me through life more and when I think about certain things that go wrong in my life I look at them and I just see all that is right with them and being a mom has just taught me how to just in be more thankful for life it has taught me how to enjoy the small things in life more and just to be present with them it's taught me a lot of life lessons but in general i think it has just taught me how to really treat life as something precious that i just i cannot take for granted number 13 what's the best part of being a mom what's the best part about being a mom doing things that make my kids happy and yes i am the mom that goes all out for parties i'm the mom that goes all out you know for occasions and holidays and you know first days of school or things like that I go all out for my kids just because if I don't do it nobody else is gonna do it for them and I am that one person that can make things extra special for them so I love that part of being a mom it, it doesn't have to be expensive it's just taking an extra step to just make something for your child more special and I just for my kids I love I love doing that for them in any aspect and it's just my favorite thing to do so that is my favorite part I just love it all right guys so that was it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and learned a little bit about me give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget if you haven't subscribed to my channel would love for you to click that red subscribe button Take a moment and just click on it and to become a part of my YouTube community. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.